taste left. Okay, you know what? This is this is gonna stay there. This is good enough. This is good enough for me. All right, here we are back again in my bathroom, fresh out of a shower, ready to try yet another new skincare product to clear my acne because guess what? It's still here. A year later and it's still here. It's better. It is better, but it's still here. So we're still gonna be doing something about it. Today, I am trying out the Snail Rescue Toner by the brand Peach Slices. I found this at Walmart for $13, and this is the dupe for the Coors X Snail Mucin that is like everyone raves about and is like super popular. And even Dr. Dre recommended this as a dupe. So we know it's about to be good. I already did patch testing down here and we are all set to go. So we're gonna be trying this out. This is something that you can use daily. It says use AM and PM, so like twice a day. I'm just gonna be trying it once a day at night. So yeah, let's try it out. I'm gonna do what Dr. Dre did in her video and she just poured it in her palm and then used her finger and put it on. Just going to pour a few drops in my hand. That's probably about it. And it's just a clear liquid. Um, it has a little bit of consistency to it, but not much. I just cleanse my face. So I'm putting this on before any moisturizer or anything else. Really, I'm just gonna be using moisturizer with this. Um, because I don't like to mix a bunch of stuff together. I am still using my tretinoin. I actually just got a new prescription of it and I forgot to upload a new picture. So my prescription didn't get increased or changed or anything, which was probably a mistake, but <laughs> you know what? We're over here. I went through a lot recently. So yeah, you know, I just never got around to it, which that's fine. I mean, this one's working fine. I actually cut back on it because I noticed I was starting to get some dry patches and that was not cute. So instead of using it every other day, I've been using it like twice a week and that seems to do a lot better for me. I've actually been researching um, like skin cycling and how that's been clearing a lot of people's skin. So yeah, that's something I'm kind of transitioning into. And that is it. That is what I'm going to be doing every single day for, I don't know, a month. We'll see. We'll see, either a week or a month, probably a month because you'd be able to see more results from that. I also got another product by Peach Slices, which is another dupe. This is the dupe for the Paula's Choice, like AHA, BHA exfoliating toner thing. We all know what that is. Um, this is the dupe for that. I found this at CVS for like $11. So this was cheaper than this. So my next video will probably be trying this out. Um, for a month and hopefully it works. The reviews were great. And I was not ordered on Amazon, but then I saw it in CBS and I had like $5 extra bucks or whatever they're called. So I got a really good deal on this. So we will be trying that next, but yeah, this is how my skin is looking day one. And I will catch up with you guys on week two. All right, so we are at the end of week one of trying out the Peach Slices Snail Rescue, which is like a dupe for the, is it Cause Rx? Oh, I think I was calling it Coors Rx. You know what I'm talking about. I'll throw up a picture. That's what it is. Yeah, my skin kind of started breaking out right through here. I don't know if it's because of this or it just randomly decided to break out. I have no idea, but we do have some new breakouts through here. One here on my chin. These were worse, but I used my little Zapsit stuff on it yesterday, so that helped some. And I also have some on my forehead, like always. This side isn't really bad. Um, yeah, it's mainly just through here. I feel like this side always breaks out worse than this side. No idea why. By the way, I don't have my tripod right now. Um, so excuse the messy angles. I'm sorry, but <laughs> yeah, this is my skin right now. I am going to still continue to use this for a full month just to see if it's just like a purging phase or if this just 
breaks out my skin and it doesn't like it. Yeah, we will see if my skin gets any better or if it continues to get worse. Oh no, we gotta take this down. <laughs> we are looking rough. This might be worse. All right, welcome to week number three of testing this bad boy out to see if it clears my skin or not. Going to get up close. This is what we are looking like on week three. I've been breaking out a lot along my jawline for whatever reason. I think it's like better except this down here just throwing me off. It's like just clustered all along my jawline. I don't know, maybe I'm not like focusing cleansing right there enough and focusing on the rest of my face more. I, I don't know. With my tretinoin, I don't think I'm really like getting along my jawline with that. So maybe that's the issue. I was gonna do that thing where, you know, they flick it, but I just feel like it would just fall on the floor and get dirty and then I'd be putting it back on it reinfecting my entire face so we're not gonna do that <laughs> i do two drops on the palm of my hand and do that all over my face i might do three just to make sure i get along here really good but oh that came out quick normally it takes a minute uh, but yeah i'm just gonna rub my other finger and get all sides of my face which is, it's definitely a lot better than before like all of this is mainly just acne scars except for along my jawline is a lot of like clustered breakouts and on my forehead right here but yeah the rest of my skin is not too bad um compared to what it was before now we're gonna go in with the rest of our skincare and yeah i will catch you guys week number four and we will see the final results of what my skin is looking like and compare week one to week four and see if there's any difference if this did anything i kind of think it is i think so what do you guys think hello and welcome to week four of testing the snail rescue toner it's actually closer to six weeks sorry but um hey longer time of testing it so you can see how my skin is um i did stop using it daily after week four um i've been using it every other day because i'm kind of trying to incorporate other products right now and try them out and just get into a routine but um yeah i use this every single day for one month and here's what my skin looks like currently it is very red right now because i just did my skincare routine but yeah mainly again just a bunch of scarring i did have a giant pimple right here that just scabbed over and fell off so that's great i was waiting for the scab to fall off like for days and it finally did so that's great uh some little breakouts right through here but yeah um kind of Kind of the same. I feel like it's a bit better. I think my skin was worse here than it is right now. So six weeks of using this, four weeks every single day, and then an additional two weeks of every other day. I think every other day is working better for me. I have been incorporating some other products. I did get the Panoxyl face wash that everyone has been recommending. I've only used this a couple times, so I can't really tell you how it works right now, but I am trying to incorporate this um, not every single day, but like slowly introduce it into my routine. And then I did get a thicker moisturizer because my skin was getting pretty dry from using tretinoin and it was just like starting to peel and yeah, so I needed a thicker moisturizer. This one is not fungal acne safe, but so far I feel like it's been fine for me. And that is the Vini Cream Moisturizer. I also use the face wash. It's like very basic for sensitive skin. So yeah, I've been using this. I just got the small one. If my skin continues to do well on it, then they do have like a big bottle with a pump and I can grab that. But yeah, that's, that's what we've been doing so far. Yeah, that is my skin at the end of week six <laughs> because I cannot seem to stay on track with these updates. But yeah, I think that's about all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and yeah, let me know what else you want me to test down in the comments down below. Would you like a video on Panoxyl? I'm probably gonna do a video on this exfoliating toner, which is a dupe for the Polish Choice one. But yeah, let me know what you guys want to see and I will catch you in my next video.